YouTube friends, JG Plains here, and uh, today we were going to take out my newly fabricated FT Scout, which I 3D printed the fuselage for, and I was really super excited about that, but didn't happen, um, mostly because I got this all finished up last night, and nasty weather. So... It doesn't look, look like we'll be flying much today. I actually had the morning off of work, and I thought that I was going to um, thought that I was going to go out and do some flying. And uh, John's got a plane that is uh, he just finished his FT Alpha, and we were hoping to fly that, but we aren't going to be able to fly that either. So charged batteries and newly built planes, and nowhere to fly of the weather but we'll do that another time so i'm going to give you an introduction to my 3d printed ft scout fuselage and uh, what i did with that and then hopefully um, we'll post another video with it flying so here's my ft scout and uh, i 3d printed the fuselage which i made up in fusion 360 and also the landing gear here simple landing gear mod and as you can see it has a nice removable turtle deck right on top with the fuselage containing the battery and all the flight controller uh, the wing fitting through the fuselage here and we've got some servos in the back my cheap lemon receiver and uh, the servos for the rudder and elevator all the way in the back everything is glued together with CA all the plastic parts and then of course hot glue the wing and I printed the fuselage in 0.5 millimeters thickness with plenty of bracing in between so as you can see there on the side there's a little bit of bracing and um, it definitely uh, holds up it's it's actually pretty sturdy and the landing gear is printed solid but uh, it has a little bit of infill to it so we have aileron control and uh, elevator and then also our rudder same as the regular FT Scout and uh, 2200 milliamp uh, lipo in the front and of course uh, we have a throttle cut on at the moment but uh, turn the radio off and uh, we'll disconnect the battery so I can show you here in the nose um, the battery let me disconnect this real quick in the nose we have a whole lot of weight I actually had some issues here I probably should have put the wing a little further back there the slot is wide enough for it but I've added all of these BBs in the nose for weight and I figured I could remove some of them if I didn't need to and it balances right about where it should on the plans so internally we're running a power pack C from flight test and uh, this is one that we've used on our bloody Wonders, it's been through, uh, Bloody Barons has been through combat at Flight Test East this year, and it survived, so we put it on this plane, and I've uh, got a, our speed controller down in the bottom underneath the wing, mounted with the power plug coming up over the top, and as you can see, I have this nice little air scoop right underneath, which leads to the, actually leads back right over the top of the ESC inside, so... Hopefully that keeps the ESC pretty cool. Never had an issue with that anyway. And then um, all the other electronics just fit right on top underneath the turtle deck. Even though I had some issues with balance in the front, I thought about putting two batteries in, uh, in the nose here. I might be able to do that if I cut out the nose. However, um, for right now I'm just going to fly it with the extra weight in it and we'll see how that goes. So that is my um, new 3D printed fuselage for the FT Scout. It definitely cuts down on the build time. Um, overall, I think I had about uh, probably 20, 25 minutes in total to put the servos and glue the fuselage together, put the servos in, the control rods, uh, screw the motor onto the front. It is a permanent motor mount. I'm not sure I showed you that, but let me just uh, screw the the motor directly into the solid firewall, 3D printed firewall there and uh, the fuselage is in four pieces so here's one part and then we've got a second part back here one more part in the back and then the servos just snap in. I actually made these little servo mounts so they'll, they'll just snap into the fuselage. You don't even need glue and uh, that's nice. I do need to change one more thing with the tail back here let me show you that a second here 
So I had, uh, unfortunately, my control rod come through the fuselage at a slight angle. I should have moved that a little bit further out on the fuselage. The one for the rudder is great and works perfectly. Uh, the one for the elevator is not so much. So and it looks like I need to trim that wire just a bit. Um, and I just hot glued in a, a small little piece of wire for the uh, tail skid there. So overall I'm pretty excited about trying to fly this and uh, I've heard a lot of good comments about how the Scout flies on um, the FT forums. And overall without the weights in it uh, it was under two pounds. I think it's 1.6 pounds without any of the nose weight in it uh, or the battery. So I'm not sure how that compares to, to other models. I don't have another Scout, just a foam board Scout to compare it to. But definitely a pretty light fuselage. The fuselage overall, um, each part is roughly, 20, uh, is roughly 25 to 40 grams. Uh, so not that much heavier. I think just the added nose weight is probably going to make the difference. Okay, so the run cam mounts absolutely perfectly right there in that hole. I think I'm going to glue it in there or Velcro it in so that uh, I can fly FPV. But um, let me know what paint scheme you think should go on here because I have some ideas, but I'm curious uh, what other people think. Maybe a silver or an OD green. I'm going to maybe print out a little pilot figure fit in there. Um, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll post a video here shortly showing you how it flies. And this is the flight controller, even though traditionally <laughs> foam board planes don't have a flight controller. No, seriously, that's the receiver, not the flight controller. I knew that. Forgot to mention my son built the wing. If it doesn't fly, it's his fault. But thank you anyway. This is <laughs> do 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 do